<laughs> pack it up, pack it in, let me begin. My name is Jin and I'm here to win, or at least not die horribly. Hello and welcome back to Feed the Bees and Modded Minecraft. We're playing all the mods 6 and our goal is to build a farm. Last episode was a real roller coaster. We actually finally found uh, a place to call our home base. We built a supply ship and uh, we gathered enough to get us going seeds wise. Yeah, we're good to go. We're ready to start, we're ready to springboard into making our farm. This episode, our goal is to end with our house fully built, which could be tricky. We're gonna need to get the tools and materials needed to gather up the materials needed to build our farmhouse. And that's gonna be just wood and stone for the most part. So let's jump in and get going. Now, before we start on our epic quest of building a farmhouse to end all farmhouses, uh, I say that it's not going to be a super amazing farmhouse just yet. We're going to build a, a modular farmhouse, which is going to improve as we get more materials and tools to build a better farmhouse. Previously in other modded Minecraft series, I've kind of done gone creative to build our base, our farmhouse, but I don't want to do that this time. What I want to do is build everything without cheat mode, without creative flight, Unless I can get flight mode in-game through some kind of mod, I'm going to stick with everything that I can get through survival. No cheating whatsoever. See, it's, 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 it's the shin guarantee, let me tell you. There's going, to be, there's going to be no hijinks in that respect. So number one thing for us to do is to explore this pretty badass ship. Last episode we built this ship, but we don't know what's on it yet. There's supposed to be a whole bunch of supplies that'll help us get started. Nothing down there. Where is this bonus chest? This oh, here, here we go. Wait, what? You gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. This, is, but, wait, this, but this is supposed to be a, a chest with a whole bunch of free stuff. What? Wait a minute. Oh no, there's different versions of this ship. Have I built the version that's not got cool free stuff? Oh no, <laughs> oh no, 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 oh no! So I've built a ship before that came with a whole bunch of free tools, free food. Looks like we have none of that and we've got to start with just a regular old chump. Like a regular old chump with, with no cool utilities and stuff. Whew. Well, that is a bit of a shame. But if anything, it's it's not that bad because in the grand scheme of things, it means we have to do things out off our own steam. There's no cheating by getting a supply ship full of some free tools. So we're going to put down some furnaces first. We're just, we're just going to get these furnaces on the go so that we can get some food cooked. We've got some raw beef. So while the beef is cooking away, let's take a look inside the Akashic Tome at some of the mods that are available in this mod pack. There's going to be a lot here that we don't know, but there's going to be some that we're old hands at. Some very familiar ones. There's actually about 10 times this amount of mods. It's just some of them don't have, uh, don't have guidebooks. For example, the Waystone that we have is from a mod that doesn't have, uh, doesn't have a guidebook. Waystones. So numero uno is Fudo. We've got some steak here. We'll have some of that. Oh, whoa, what a unique flavor. I've gained another heart. That's pretty quick. These are huge trees right here, and I like them. I like this, uh, this Seeker, Kika, Seeker log. This is perfect for us. It's a great building material. I'm going to use it. But if I try and dig a whole tree with this wooden axe, because there's no durability on this wooden axe right now, it'll only dig down a small bit of the tree, which is why I want to use an iron axe and get as much as I can from one of these really big trees. Okay, so step one, we've got 
three stacks of seeker logs. We might need more, but for the time being, that's going to be plenty. Now it's time to delve into the other side of what we need, and that is going to be cobblestone. And so for that, we're going to be digging ourselves like a nice little cheeky mine right next to our base of operations. Now this is going to be nothing permanent. This is just going to be a quick and easy in and out, get some cobblestone just so that we can get our base built. Okay, let's go for a mine. Now I feel like one of the things I'm going to be doing a lot in this series is mining. Mining is going to take time. It's going to be probably pretty boring to watch. Some people are going to love it, some people are going to hate it. But to make it easier, what I'm going to try and do is when I go for a mining session, I'm going to do a bit of a montage, which is basically where I go for a mine. I spend like, I don't know, maybe an hour or something mining. And then I mix it together in the edit into a nice cool montage where you can see what I'm doing, but at an, at an increased pace. So we'll have like multi views. And, uh, and sped up time. So let's do it. Let's gather up some cobblestone. Multi-views. Multi views, multi views, multi views, multi views, multi views, multi views. Bed of time. Whoa, hello. So one thing I've uh, I've not really looked at is what some of the ores look like with shaders. I don't know what this thing is. Green Zycorium for Zycraft. Whatever it is, it looks really cool. So I'm just gonna be gathering this because maybe it has a use later. Oh man, I love how multicolor it is. That is very cool. Oh, and as luck would have it, digging up this Zycorium has exposed to us a little bit of a Spelunky cave. So let's go in and get as much iron and stone as we can. Okay, so mining trip over, I went until my iron pickaxe broke and I've got a few little bits and bobs, some stuff to get us going at least. Unfortunately, it dawned nighttime while I was up there. And as you can see on the map, we've got a few rude dudes with attitude, not on the big map, but on the mini map. We've got a few creepers here and there looking to cause some trouble. But we're going to cause them trouble before they can cause us trouble. There we go. Bam. One, two, and three should be the money. Oh, no, no. These guys are pretty tough. Why is he not dead? There we go. Taking him out. Monster Hunter. That's me. Your boy. So we're going to deposit our building materials in this chest and go back in, get some more mined up gear. Because basically, we didn't get quite enough stone. We probably got the logs. It shouldn't take us too long, though. We got a bit carried away by digging up all of these cool crystals. And again, one of the big problems with, uh, with mod packs is there's so much to dig. When you go on a mining trip, you can often find yourself basically filling up your pack within a couple of minutes of going underground. So I wonder, actually, maybe we can look into some backpacks to make our mining trip much easier. So useful backpacks is supposed to be a very useful backpack mod, which makes sense, I suppose. Leather, white wool and string gets us a small backpack. Let's build one. I think we've got all those things that we need. White wool. Where's the string at? I had some string, definitely. There's some string. I've got some leather. Let's see if we can make this bad boy. Small backpack, put it in the thing, boom, made a backpack. How do we make, what are these used for? Can we make a bigger backpack? Yeah, a medium backpack with just some more leather and some more wool. Well, let's try and do that. We can probably find the cows pretty simple. In fact, I see them on the map already. Let's go, let's do it. I've got a sword. Actually, I've got some iron. Let's make some shears. We can uh, get some vegan wool. Is that right? Is that Would that be vegan wool technically? I think so. Let's go and get ourselves some leather, some steak also, because steak is a great food. And, uh, oh wait, that's not a cow, that's a horse. I can't eat a horse. Well, I could eat a horse, but I don't think I want to. So looking at the mini-map, man, we got chickens galore. Maybe we could get some chicken meat. That sounds, that sounds great. If you, if you haven't had chicken from Chicken Man, it's not real chicken. Lovely chicken meat. Give me that. Sweet, sweet chicken meat. Get your chicken from Chicken Man. 
Okay, so we're still staying glued to the mini-map because what we want to do is find some cows or some sheep. At the moment, all we can see is chickens, though. And chickens suck. There's a sheep. Perfect. Also some chickens along the way. Oops. Ooh, it's actually, ooh, really hard to hit the chickens in the lavender field. Well, we're not too invested in chickens anyway. We want the sheep. That's the big one, the big payday. Snip, snip. Don't mind if I do. A couple of wool. Lovely. You too, chief. This is a black sheep, though. I'm not sure if we want black wool. I mean, just in terms of um, ease of recipe. Here we go, cows. Right, let's do it. Bam. Bam, bitty bam. Number three and number four. We should get a bit of leather from this. Yeah, we did seven leather. But while we're on a kill streak, let's finish off his. Oh no, it's a baby! Come here, you cheeky little baby. Oh, the baby doesn't give you anything. Well, I guess that's karma. Don't mind if I do. Sheep are much more friendly when you use shears on them. I think it's like, you know, just when you get a haircut, it feels really nice. You ever had like a haircut and when they use the clippers, it's like all bzzz and it feels really good. I think that's how sheep feel when you uh, use shears on them. Maybe. Maybe they hate it. Man, the world would be a very different place if animals could speak, eh? If they could tell you what they're thinking. I'm sure people would feel a lot more terrible about eating bacon. Maybe we should build a... Maybe we should have, like, a vegan... A vegan farm series. A vegan feed the world. That would be... That would be interesting. Tricky. No... Killing no animals. Using no animals to get certain things would be very difficult. But I'm sure there is a vegan way to do it. Okay, so this backpack is made by doing that. Boom, bam, medium backpack. And to get a large backpack, it's exactly the same thing. We're missing one leather. Oh man, we can't go mining with just like a non-large backpack simply because we were missing one leather. Let's go and kill one more cow. Oh, look at this. I didn't even notice this, but there's a cheeky little hovel here with some cheeky little goodies inside, I believe. Man, though, that is a stealth house. And there is nothing useful in here. Okay. But I guess these are cool because if you're running around and it's getting nighttime on your survival playthrough, you can just jump inside one of those houses and have a sleep. And save yourself a nasty death like we had from, like, the weird wolf monsters and skeletons, obviously, and all those other bad boys. All right, more cows, more leather. I'd say we should make ourselves a leather jacket, but we're not quite in midlife crisis territory yet. I ain't afraid of no sleep. I ain't afraid of no bed. Let's jump in. It's not quite nighttime yet. Oh man, I do love these sunsets. Don't they look amazing? Look at the way those golden leaves shine in that sun. Oh, it looks so good. Man, Minecraft is, is, is so different. It's such a different game with shaders, isn't it? Another glorious day on what will soon to be our farm. But it can't be a farm without a farmhouse, so we've got to jump into the mines. We're going to make ourselves a big backpack using the medium backpack. The recipe it's used for is a large backpack. Boom, move items, bam, large backpack. This is used for nothing. It's basically the best of the best. We can put this in our back and boom, we have a large backpack. But that's all well and good. We've got a large backpack on our person. How do we actually open the backpack? Well, I think we're going to need to use a hotkey. So if we go to the controls, we can find out what it is. Okay, so there are one, two, three buttons for opening backpacks. This is what you get when you have so many mods. So it's V. V opens up our large backpack. And oh my god, crap your pants. This is about as big as two double chests. We can walk around and mine with basically two double chests on us. We're going to have no problems mining all the stone we need. So let's turn this iron into some more picks and get busy. Oh, damn it. Well, there we go. There is our... Ooh, whoops. Don't want to do that. I want to put down a torch, not a, not, a, not a piece of stone. 
So there we go, our backpack is kind of, well, our backpack isn't full, but our pickaxes are spent. So it's time to go topside and get about building our farmhouse. Okay, so there we go. I've built the first level of our house. Now this took a lot longer than I was expecting in survival, so it's really gonna take a lot to make this place look really nice. However, we've got the groundwork quite literally finished because we've built a basement and a first level of our house. Now there's no walls on this yet. However, it is high enough for monsters not to be able to get to us. I think at least if you take a look over here. Yeah, I don't think people can jump up here and we can like just dig some of this dirt to make sure they can't. But if you take a look downstairs, you can have a look, have a sneak peek at our basement. Now there's no way in yet, so we just got this like hole in the wall. But, press F7, make sure we can uh, keep this place safe from monsters. No more red X's. But this little basement is the perfect place for us to get ready for the rest of our farming. We can have storage down here, a few of the basic machines, things that aren't quite permanent, but things that we can set up and get going. I can also put my bed down here, move everything inside here, and that way, uh, yeah, we can just start to build the house upwards and expand the farm outwards. And that's going to be pretty exciting. So the next step is to drag everything from the outside over here into the basement over there. Boom, man. I really wish that supply ship hadn't been such a boom and bust. Because it's supposed to have certain things that we need. Actually, a supply ship, now I think about it, is supposed to have a chest that lets you build the mine colonies stuff, which means there should definitely be a chest there that has a mine colonies building wand and town hall block. So I'm very confused about why that isn't there. Next episode, I think we're going to go through a to-do list of all the mods and the ways we want to generate power, store our items, all those lovely things, because there's kind of cool mods for each of those little things and the best ways of doing them, because farming is great and easy and I love it. I want to put down some crops. I want to farm some bees, definitely. Next episode, 100%, we have to start gathering some bees and understanding how they work. But this has very much been two episodes of logistics. We've got the house up and running. We've got all our stuff in here. We've got, we've got um, chests down. Everything's good to go. And I feel like we're in a very good position going forwards. So next episode, we can really start getting some bees together. And looking at crops, making a to-do list and finding out what we want to do next episode. But I've been Stjin. Thank you for watching. Hit like, subscribe, ding the bell. Ding the bell if you want to be notified of when a new video comes out. And of course, become a member if you want to help support the channel. Until next time, though, take care.